It's Wednesday, and what better way to start it than with a live Three Idiots Talk Aquariums podcast, available on Spotify and YouTube. I'm not going to promise you you'll like it, but you might. After we recorded, it was time to reply to some comments on Facebook. Thank you to everybody who engages with us. It is much appreciated. Then it was time for me to have my caffeine and do my rounds around the fish room. I know I've said plenty of times before I don't mind a bit of algae on the front of the glass, but this was really beginning to drive me insane. I just wanted to look at these tea bars. So the old flipper came out, got the work done. If you haven't tried these things, they're brilliant. And look, there's some fish. Tea bars aren't a fish that we sort of typically carry. These are more my own personal collection because I think they are beautiful fish. What else is a beautiful fish is Mama Bear here with her fry. How cool is nature? She's defending this little patch like nobody's business. She's doing a wonderful job. Good on you, Mama Bear. Great job. Until I came along and accidentally tapped the glass and she disappeared. But it gave us a good full shot of her fry. Not exactly sure where this water's coming from. But I should probably figure it out pretty soon. I thought by now if it was from the big flood over the weekend it would have dried up by now. But clearly it hasn't, so it probably wasn't. Finally beginning to get some decent numbers of our Moscow guppies. We've had these for ages and for the life of me they just would not produce some big numbers. But finally they're getting there. Maybe in a few months time we'll have some for sale. Time for DIY Daddy to come back out. So I need to attach this hoozicky here to that hoozicky there. Pretty simple task really. And it really was. I didn't make a mistake on this one. Follow me for more DIY tips and tricks. It's even fit for purpose. Look at this. The hoses are being held exactly the way I want them. I am so good at what I do. Hashtag DIY Daddy. Alright, time for some actual fish chat. So I've been trying to get these 168s to spawn for a long time. I've increased the temperature, I've increased the flow, but I have not increased the food intake, which apparently can help trigger them. So from now on, we're going to be feeding them three or four times a day with a bit of the super rapashi good stuff and see how we go. Speaking of extra feeding, it was brine shrimp time this morning. Look at how good that ooey gooey sticky icky is coming out of that tube. Brine shrimp is good for the fish's soul. You should get amongst it if you've not tried it before. It is a very high quality, very good live food, and it is very easy to culture. Yesterday I said it was time for a water change and a trim up on this bad salve. As you can see here, the polysperma is growing quite ludicrously long, so that really needed a wee trim up, so that was today's job. Got it done pretty effortlessly, and I'm happy with how it looks. Hopefully they can grow in a bit nicer, and we can get some of that pink colour coming through that sunset polysperma, which is absolutely delicious yesterday's video i also alluded to a water change on the blackwater botanical tank in the shop i also did that took about 30 percent out and replaced it with some fresh water no decisions yet on the tanganican tank i then needed to shoot out and get some polystyrene boxes because we'd run out and we had some fish orders to send away i went got the absolute score on them and then it was time for diy daddy diy daddy DIY Daddy. Cut it perfectly straight down the guts. Well, actually, just the edge off it, but it now works fine, and I've got a perfectly good workbench. Got the live fish orders out over the Christmas and New Year period. Thank you very much for your patience, everybody who shopped with us. I much appreciate it. I was far happier waiting until the couriers were running like normal. And some of you might be asking, hey, Cam, why haven't you done any work on the computer yet? Well, the most part of my day was spent doing that, but look at how much work I got through. I don't know, maybe 10% of the way through the job I need to get done. This is absolutely relentless. It was then time for the evening brine shrimp feeding. It was a pretty good one as well. Happy enough with that. And I can tell you something for free. I am absolutely exhausted. Close to a 13-hour workday. Do not do it. Not good for the health. I'll see you all again tomorrow.